Hey, it's Christine with Mint Strings, and today I want to show you another new product. Um, it is a pick guard for this Yamaha LD10E. I originally put on a dyed basswood with a little bit of an etching, and I really didn't like it, so I pulled it off. And uh, I'll show you how I did that uh, because I'm using the same tape. But I made a new one, and I wanted to do something very thin. Um, as you can see here, uh, this is... The, where, where the original was. Um, and it's, you can see, much lighter than, and this is aged, and this is the original color. Uh, anyhow, I don't like plastic pick guards that are stuck to the top for several reasons. <clears throat> One, because they tend to, over time, uh, expand and contract, um, or uh, they don't expand and contract with the wood and can, can damage the wood. Anybody who owns a vintage guitar can attest to the fact that this happens. Uh, so I've developed a new way to mount pick guards. Um, I think that going forward, um, this will probably be the way that I will offer most of my pick guards um, that are custom made. Um, and that actually, that'll probably be an option. Um, you can have the regular 3M or I can modify it. Um, but anyway, um, I made this really beautiful custom cut. This is a... Let me think, uh, Madagascar, I believe it's Madagascar Ebony. It's either Madagascar Ebony or Santos Rosewood. I don't remember. This is actually a really beautiful veneer. Let me see if I can get, see all that beautiful grain in there? It's so pretty. And the LED lighting doesn't really show the color well, but you can see the grain. It's really cool looking. Um, and I'm just gonna mount it right here. And as you can see, hopefully it, let me grab my camera. It, it will match the sound hole. Um, actually, I need to line it up properly. Let's see, like that. But you can see it covers the entire area. So if you have, all right, except for right there. Uh, if you have a um, guitar where you've pulled off the pick guard and you have this discoloration or the guitar is discolored and this is still the natural color, uh, you can contact me and I can make a pick guard that will cover the area completely. Um, so not only do I want to show you that, um, I can make solid wood pick guards, which I absolutely love. But this one I did in a plastic back with a veneer. And it's flexible. Um, I'm not going to flex the lock because I don't want to crack it. It does have a, a poly... I used a polyurethane coat on it to uh, make sure that it's not going to get damaged over time. Um, but you can also see on the back here the tape. So this is actually clear tape with the red backing. I use this on my armrests for guitars and mandolins, and I've used them in pick guards before. Um, and it works the same way as all of them do. We're just going to take off that red backing place this down and we'll be done with the install. Um, you don't need much of this to install a pick guard. In fact, I could probably do it with two pieces or even make these pieces smaller. This tape is very rubbery and it sticks to the tops very well. So um, the nice thing about this is if I wanted to take it off, it's not going to be hard to take off because of the way this tape is made. So again, the tape is um, kind of rubbery. So you want to kind of get between and uh, something sharp will work, as will a toothpick, which I've used before. Toothpicks are great for also removal. So I'm going to take off all the backing, get this lined up and installed on the guitar. And I'm going to retake the pictures for the guitar. This guitar is for sale. It's been completely refurbished. I removed all the gold hardware, the tuners. Um, I've replaced the bridge pins with ebony with um, uh, inlay abalone. Uh, the electronics system has been completely removed, cleaned, and um, I also modified the, um, let's see, it would be the transducer. They were originally uh, under the saddle, and a lot of people complained that the sound quality was terrible. Just moving them outward definitely helped. You can check my videos. I have a whole video on how I did that. But um, here we go. So to mount a pick guard, any pick guard, typically you would put this on before taking the tape off. 
you'd mark your spots where you want to lay it down, but I don't have to because I can see very clearly where this pick guard needs to go because it's so light. So first thing I do is match it up to the top here and then to the sound hole here. And it matches when you, when you mount here first and then the tip here, this naturally falls in the correct place as does everything else. So I'm done. I'm just going to drop it down, push it down and the install is done. Now you'll see this move a little bit. I may pull it up and put a small piece of tape there, um, but this is actually on there fine. It's not gonna come off. It's not gonna move, okay? So now we have this really, let's see if we can get a picture. Really beautiful. The lighting's not great, so I have to leave it on my workbench. Back it up a little bit, here we go. So hopefully you can see the color. I'm gonna tilt this out away from the lighting. Um, but I can do this with all kinds of wood. I have all kinds of um, uh, thinner woods that I can create really beautiful pick guards like this. So if you have uh, a guitar that needs to be to need, need, just like this, that has the discoloration, you need to cover that, contact me. Um, you can find me facebook.com forward slash mint strings. Uh, you can message me from there or just simply send me an email sales at mintstrings.com. Hey, I'm back again. This is part two of the um, pick guard installation. And I wanna show you why I built the pick guard the way I did. Um, the tape that I used, uh, I, I actually wanna take this off because I wanna add more tape um, to support this a little bit more. But to take these off, it's really simple. So you're gonna grab and pull off. And, and again, I, I didn't put any tape here. And that's one of the things I wanna change. I wanna put some tape here and just pull up and outward so just like that and then I'm just gonna kind of twist back and forth and it comes right off and now you can see this piece of tape down here hopefully let me see if you can see it yeah you can see that so you can see where this comes up I'm just gonna pull this off uh, this tape again see how it's rubbery it's kind of going back into place um, I'm gonna reuse this tape so I will straighten this out a little bit just pull it and gently let it lay down on whatever you're this is attached to. Everything else pretty much looks good. I'll tell you why this, why you can pull this off. And that's because of the way that I built this pick guard. Again, beautiful wood veneer. I've got a um, uh, polyurethane cover on that. I can also just oil it with tongue oil or just a natural oil. Um, but the backing here, this is plastic. This is just a very thin sheet. Let's see if I have any. Over here, grab me a piece of this plastic here and I can show you exactly what the backing is. If you can even see this. Yeah, okay, so this is what the plastic is. It's a very, very thin, very pliable plastic. And I love this stuff because I can make truss rod covers and make um, exotic wood pick guards and not only are they really nice because exotic woods are expensive and this way of doing it is much, uh, much more cost efficient, but also just like I did, you can pull this off because it's t the, the wood is actually taped to the plastic completely. And everything you see white here, of course, is the tape. It's a good thick double stick tape. This is still a very thin pick guard. Even if I use the 3M tape that would stick this completely to the top, it would still be a much better pick guard than a thicker pick guard. Um, and I've explained this before, as you add weight and density to your pick guard to the top, armrest, whatever, if, if you have something, and I'm, I, I didn't mean armrest, or armrest actually sit at the, at the edge, but when you sit something completely on the top, you get a muting. And I'll see, I don't know if I'll, I'll get this on video, but I'll do it here. So I'm just going to strum this. And I'm going to put my hand down and let's I'll bring this closer to the sound hole here. Oh God, that's out of tune. I'm not even going to do that because it sounds terrible. <laughs> um, I will play one string. Let's, let's do that. We'll just do one string.
and it's still ringing. Now, I want to see if I can ca capture this on video. So I'm going to pluck that string again, and then I'm going to put my, my hand on the top right here to mute it. Off. On. Did you hear the difference? Hopefully you heard the difference. But anyhow, that's one of the reasons why we suggest... Um, armrests and I'm building these pick guards the way I am because even with more tape um, and I've done this typically what I'll do is I'll outline the entire uh, piece with tape on regular wood pick guards uh, it's a little bit more difficult to get up off the um, soundboard when once you put it put a pick guard down chances are you're never going to take it off again so I am going to complete this uh, and put on tape all the way around um, and again the reason for that is because the only thing that's touching the top are these pieces of tape. You no longer have this entire piece of, you know, wood sitting on your top. It's not holding, it's not binding the ability of the top to vibrate because when you play your guitar, when you pluck a string, it vibrates the top. When you have a good quality top um, that's properly seasoned, when it's made uh, or properly aged in the correct humidity and and um, and temperature, over time wood mellows. The sound changes a little bit. It gets better with age. And with these pick guards, it has zero effect, or I will say, negligible effect on the top. So that's why I'm creating these pick guards because they're such a good value and they really help improve the sound quality. So again, if you have a guitar has this discoloration, you want to cover it, definitely give me uh, a, a message me on Facebook or send an email sales at minstrings.com. I'd love to help you out and, and get your guitar looking really beautiful with a new pick guard. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and go back and add the extra tape to this and retake the pictures and this guitar is going to go back up for sale. Have a great day.